As we turn the last model around, we have burn classification. This area is epidermis. This is the dermis and the subcutaneous layer, the hypodermis. We look at a first degree burn, also called a partial thickness burn or superficial partial thickness burn. Superficial partial thickness. It involves only the epidermis. It heals in a few days to two weeks. A sunburn can fall under this category. Superficial partial thickness usually leaves no damage. The second degree burn is also called the deep partial thickness because it goes down into the dermis. Because it pretty much destroys the epidermis and goes down into the dermis, there is some oozing of fluids and blisters form. This is from exposure to hot objects, liquids, flames, and burning clothing. New epidermis will form and it usually will completely recover unless there's an, an infection here. A severe sunburn can be a second degree burn. A deep partial thickness burn. The third degree, the most serious type, you have the epidermis is completely destroyed and, and the good part of the dermis all the way down to the hypodermis or subcutaneous layer. So it is called a full thickness burn because it goes into the deep tissue. It destroys the epidermis, dermis, and all the accessory organs that are found here. Full thickness. There will be extensive scars. The skin will be leathery and dry because it's loss of these accessory organs. It's usually from immersion into hot liquids long exposure to hot objects, flames, and corrosive materials. Now here's the problem with this one. You have destroyed this tissue and remember this especially the epidermis is keratinized epithelial cells. That keratinized epithelial cells they're tough and also water resistant. So you've lost that layer that is protecting you from oozing your fluids. And so a third degree burn, yes, it uh, burns away that barrier to microorganisms. So infection is a very much a concern. Also loss of fluid, so dehydration, shock and dehydration should be treated immediately. Somebody who um, has received third degree burns should have treatment for um, prevention of shock and water replacement, fluid replacement, because uh, this uh, there will be a lot of loss of fluids because um, there's nothing to hold it in anymore. There's nothing to stop those microorganisms, so it's it's very serious. Usually, with uh, there's going to be extensive scars. An autograph, remember that is a tissue that is collected in a healthy area, healthy skin on the person's body who received the burn. A homograph from a cadaver who has uh, donated. Um, is a donor and then skin substitutes and there will be extensive scars. The epidermis is destroyed, the dermis is destroyed, and the hypodermis or the subcutaneous layer is damaged.